Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Tai. Thanks for clicking on my video. And today we're going to be looking at the UC line from Brother Hobby. Also, I'm going to be doing this in five minutes or less. And now I'm really regretting spending so much time on the intro. Okay, so this motor comes in the standard Brother Hobby cardboard box that almost all their motors come in. The motor comes in at $50.50. It is a two-piece bell. Both pieces are made out of 70-75 aluminum. It has a titanium shaft. It has 14 N52H arc magnets on the outer bell. These magnets do appear to be thicker. It is a 12-14 configuration. The air gap on here is extremely thin. I can actually barely fit my razor blade in there. It has 16 by 16 mountain holes. Comes with a lightweight prop nut, but this is a full size prop nut, which I prefer. Has 160 millimeters of wire. The windings look extremely neat. Weighs 31.2 grams. With the prop nut weighs 31.8 grams. If you cut off the wires, it should be about two grams lighter. It has the good Japanese NMB 9x4x4 bearings. It has a 1.5mm set screw, which I'm going to be talking about in a little bit. Comes with 6mm screws for mounting with a 2.5mm head. It says that it's 129 hardness, but I don't know if I believe that. They look kind of cheap. And that's about it for the specs on this motor. Now on to my personal opinion. Looking at the stats on this motor, for $15.50, this is actually quite an impressive motor. In fact, its stats are almost exactly the same as the R6. The only notable difference is that it is 1 gram lighter, which was surprising, and the top of the bell is machined differently. Now, the top of the bell does have that grid that I personally really like, and it definitely keeps the props from slipping. Um, it almost feels rough and has almost sharp edges around the top of the diamonds, which I personally like. One thing that I noticed, the bell is asymmetrical, but the variation is minor, and I don't feel like this will negatively impact flight performance. Now one thing I definitely want to talk about is the set screw. The set screw is the same size set screw that comes on the other motors, However, this is made out of a much, much cheaper metal than the other ones have on them. I actually ended up stripping out all five set screws on all five of my motors, trying to take it apart to show you guys. Now, you might have a nice $10 Allen hex driver that may not strip it out. However, I've never had an issue with any of my drivers before, and this was actually quite surprising. I even tried heating it up with a soldering iron to see if that would loosen the Loctite on the screw, and that did not work. I'm going to have to take a grinder and grind a groove into the screw so I can unscrew it and show you the inside of the motor in the next video. However, I highly suspect that the inside construction looks very similar to the Returner R6. I'm curious to see if an R6 bell would fit on top of the stator. I also hope that they release more KVs and sizes for the UC lineup. Now all in all, this motor feels absolutely premium. Every part of this motor feels like a high-end motor. The only thing that I would change is the absolute rubbish set screw, but if that's the only place they cut corners on this motor, I'm happy with it. It feels extremely notchy in the hand, and the build quality seems just the same as any of their other motors. I definitely give this motor a 9 out of 10. It loses that one point because having a set screw that strips out on all five motors is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, I look forward to testing this motor over the next two days and creating the follow up video. So keep your eyes out for that. Alright, thanks guys for watching my video all the way through. I really appreciate it. This is a new channel, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you felt that my content was helpful and you would like to see more videos like this. Also, feel free to put a comment down below if there's anything I missed or you think I could do better. Other than that, happy flying, guys. Stay safe.